I'm Mike Mustard and you're listening to The Sound of My Own Voice. Today we're talking about women. With me is Michaela Ryan. She's a lecturer in women's uh, equality. What is it again? German literature. That's right. And she also has a fully functioning vagina. <laughs> Michaela, quotas for female deputies in the Dáil. Tell me why that's not a load of bollocks. Um, I suppose, Mark, um, one of the main issues is that th there's a lot of issues affecting women that are voted on exclusively by men who don't have the same um, life experiences or emotional uh, attachments to things, um, for example, abortion legislation. I'm going to interrupt you there because I'm a massive fucking loudmouth. On the abortion issue, if abortion legislation is introduced in this country, that's something that's only going to benefit women. <laughs> So why can't we have quotas for men in that situation? I don't understand. You know very well what I'm saying. If you're going to have women swanning into hospitals left, right and centre, merrily aborting fetuses till the cows come home, how do we get in on that action? Why can't we have quotas for men in that situation? I suppose there's certain biological impediments that would militate such action. I don't want to hear any of this elitist academic smart talk about what is and isn't biologically possible. What I want to know is why man-hating feminazis like you want to take away my right, which I don't have, don't want, and could never exercise, to refuse to have an abortion. Why do you hate freedom so much? I'm not sure I can contribute usefully to this conversation anymore. Fine by me. The shrill voice of Irish womanhood, silence. After the break, could your taxes be paying for televised owl beheadings in Sierra Leone? We'll be meeting the man who thinks he has the answer after this. The answer is yes, by the way.